What's up guys and welcome back to Life is Strange. Again I pressed the wrong button. Uh this is yeah, I gotta erase that again. Great. This is part three of episode two, guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys have caught up with us so far and we will hopefully get to episode three rather soonish. I'm trying to kind of speed through these and haven't really gotten very far into episode 2 yet, but uh, episode 3 is out, so I gotta catch up to that. Haven't really had a whole lot of time to play this game, so that's why there wasn't very many videos on it for a while. Not more music, no. No more copyright music. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Yeah, of course they are. Samuel's feeding them. Oh, it's you. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Because you're not Victoria. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. Okay, Kate's video. Kate is really upset about the video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you Don't preach to everybody hoo. about sex. She'll live. Freaking jerk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best I do friends know you can her. have. And I can already tell she's a jerk. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. So her parents are sick. Taylor. Conversation over. Wow, douchebag. I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. I think we can ask her about her parents. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Yep, about your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. So like you are for Kate. Friend with Victoria. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Okay. So we made a new friend, I think. That's cool. Well, there's paint there. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Actually, that paint job right there looks horrible. Look at that. <laughs> That's terrible. How is that a good paint job? It's even got graffiti on it. So it's 1300. Let's talk to Sam. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. Had hello. Had to in the morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. It's cool looking morning. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Ah, uh, snow. So, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. For sure. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Uh, animals. That's one thing I truly about love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. The spirit animals. Are what animals do you see in the forest? I saw a doe. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your mm -hmm. destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Uh, I totally called that. Cool. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning one. ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Wait. 
Yeah. Does he have the power to control time too? Because he just said, of course you will. He don't know if I'll see him later. It's a, it's a sprinkler. What's this? Ooh, what does this do? Ooh, what does this do? Food waves. Use. Release the Kraken. Come on, oh, squirrel. there's a happy donut. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. So this must be our next picture right here. Come here, squirrely, squirrely. Come on. Whoops. Come on. Let me get that picture of you. Creep up on it. There we go. Photo. Take a picture yes. of the squirrel with a donut. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. I actually had a picture like that where a giant bird with a huge, like, 13 or so inch long beak was just, like, standing next to me. Look at the totem. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Tabanga. I hope it's not too bang, uh, but, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be cool. Can't Blackwell have at least one no football zone? Right. Make this area right here no football zone. Can we look at these squirrels? No? Okay. There's a lot of squirrels around this place. Probably because uh, Samuel's right there, but you know. That's right, we gotta check our uh, photos here. Yes, we got the second one. The next one looks like it's gonna be Two Whales Diner. Alright. Pilot Umber. This is Nathan's father. This is a message to let you know that attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you're the last. Consider this a final polite warning. Well, bring it on, dude. Bring on all the lawyers you want. I've got Max, proof against come you. come on over here. I will find proof. Corin, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Okay. Uh, thank you. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some yes, personal you superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Best friends forever. Just a pirate. Just a pirate I used to know. <laughs> I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. Get everybody I'll give involved. you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. You're no, fucking not. weak. Like that bizarro that snowfall loser. yesterday. Loser. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Uh, okay, yeah, we'll go to the movies with you. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old-school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Indeed, let's go. Max has got a date. <laughs> let's go see what's up. So we're finally gonna meet Chloe now. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Oh, yeah. Or Rachel. Who's that girl? My girl's just like sta sitting on the stairs right there. That guy's wearing pink. Like, oh yeah. Totally showing them school colors apparently. Okay. Hi. There's that nerd guy that was a skateboarder, I believe. The guy that we missed to get the picture of. Skateboarding and breaking the skateboard. No, no more music. Dang it. It would have to do that. More copyrighted music I'm gonna take out. Yeah, look at that. 
that city. My Kia button is getting really stuck on that thing. That music is lagging me bad. It's not fair, guys. Black Bear Academy transfer. Can we see a lighthouse from here? I want to see the lighthouse, what it looks like from down here. A lot of streets for a small town. Ah, there it is. I see the lighthouse in the distance. No sign of a tornado yet, though. So uh, it said that we had four days, and that was that night. So uh, this is now the three. It's down to three days until that tornado arrives. And there's Two Whales Diner. Also, with the perfect view of the lighthouse. It's open. It's open for 24 hours. How does that one person run this place with 24 hours? Talk about it? going back in time. Hey, creepy old guy, let's exactly talk. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. That ticket. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. That ticket right there. Is that your winning lotto ticket? All right, raise my hands once more. Come on. I totally snatched his ticket. He didn't even Hi. Notice. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online didn't you schedule is working. Did you just see me leave on the bus? Uh, yeah, I just got off. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Okay, oh, that's a relief. That's right. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that oh. bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. So I think she's like, uh, she's all like, yeah, I gotta go to the bus to get a job interview. But my job interview is that way. right over there at Two Wells Diner. <laughs> I don't want to go that way. I do want to go that way. Now look at, look at all that that's over there. There's even a group of people back there. What are they talking about? I wanted to go inside that store there, but I don't have any. Can I knock her off that bike and steal it? Oh. Sorry, Grand Theft Auto yep. moment. I'm, I'm ready to cash my Auto, that's right. Glad somebody is. Don't try to take it from me. Don't try to take it from me. I already dead, dude. Look at all these flyers. See, It's dead. so sad that nobody will read them. Well, you just did, so I guess that counts, right? Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Well, it's probably because they all died, but, you know. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You're on boat? You have your own boat? I call her the Bali High. I've kept all of her in these lean days. <laughs> Might be all the time we've got left. I thought one of Arcadia Bay's main exports was fish. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Stupid Prescott family. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Yeah. They own my school. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Yes. Never forget that Come old on. fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn yeah, more, but I have to get fish. going. <laughs> Happy fishing out there. Uh, very funny. It's so pretty. Window, I drew on you. 
Obviously, nobody took my advice. Of course not. Says I'm so dirty. Hmm. There's that dirty RV sense. from the other day. Yeah. No, uh, the dog. Stop that! Stop! No barking. No barking. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Hey, dumb dog doesn't want to let me through. Fine. Um, I'll just feed it some raw meat. Hey, fisherman, dude, can I borrow one of your fish? I just need to distract this dog. Alright, let's go in. Well, actually, let's find that picture we gotta take here. There it is. Whoop. There we go. Get a picture of those two whales. Yay! I was feeling that dog back there and kind of deal with uh, one of those pictures. There's a dog bone with a fence and a fire walk with me. Is there a fence back here? Cause I really don't know. Ah, yeah, on the other side there. Okay. Can we get there now? That is the real question. Alright, well, let's go inside. So, this is retro. That smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. And estates. Okay. The TV. K Bay hey, what up at noon. K Bay 7 News will explore the Still mystery of yesterday's there. unusual snowfall on a warm and sunny late afternoon that confused and delighted Arcadia Bay residents. We'll be talking with Portland meteorologists in the area and look at some of your fun video reactions to the odd snow flurry. Who knows? Maybe Mother Nature was pranking us all. So, stay tuned to K-Bay 7 News for the real story. K-Bay. Gumball machine. Oh man, I bet that's the this. same gum from when I was here last. Probably is. Look at this weird lady. Hello there to you! Such a oh, beautiful man. day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna she be a super is a really day. Weird... Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Wow. Is she Canadian? <laughs> Just saying, Canadians say A a lot. Coaster. Okay, Kate Marsh, that would be a long time. I love douchebags. Thank you, redneck poet. <laughs> ah, that's so messed up. There it is again. Our animal. Something bad is definitely going to happen. I mean, we've seen that thing everywhere so far, and it's on our shirt, too. So, yeah, there's a lot of things pointing to that. Oh, there's a fire walk with me. Okay. Let's look at this. Gross. Rachel A. owes me a BJ. That graffiti has been here forever. Flush before peeing on the floor. Perfect. <laughs> About time somebody says that. Let me go back out. Okay, yes, I think we can. Yeah, because I think we gotta go around this side of the building to get to that dog. I don't wanna miss that. Hey, you, man. Random man sitting there. Excuse me. Sir? Can you believe you this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> oh, man. The snow was on. The odd. snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. <sighs> Global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. 
I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. Would you prefer it to talk about douchebags? This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. Wow, douchebag. Almost, guy. Yeah, see, I think we could go over there. Hello. Oh, look at you. A it's fine a example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, oh, I go to Blackwell yes. Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Uh, Prescott family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Lack like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Mm, Joyce Price? You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Yeah, I can agree with him. Chloe? Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. Been here for quite some time, woman. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking, all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Mm. Did you ever talk to her? Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me, about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray Wait, the poor she's thing is She's a model right. in California. I could probably just but walk you can't to, to save wherever she's everybody. at and like say hi. Just saying, I'm in California. <laughs> How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. Wait, what? You lived here a thousand years? What happened? What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? She a Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you yeah, ever lived outside of here? Up. Where the hell would I go? I've been there before. I yeah, hate the honest. sun and love the I mist. Have, it's not I might be homeless, but Arcadia be. Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. Alright. Hey, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. Take a photo of that dog. Yeah. Got you, dumb doggy. Yeah. Okay. So we got the dog's picture. That's all good. 142, I don't know what this is. And a doe. Okay. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for part 3 of episode 2. I will see you guys next time with part 4. And we will continue checking out this diner and see if we can finally meet Chloe. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, be sure to hit that like button and it says, Hello, how do you do? <laughs> Sorry, I got really sidetracked there. And that down there looks like kind of like a Taco Bell building. But it says, ACSC, so it's kind of, I don't know, is that supposed to be KFC, but Arcadia Bay FC? <laughs> I don't know, guys, but yeah, there's Easter eggs all over this place. So I will see you guys next time with part 4 of episode 2 and hope you guys enjoyed. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you around.
Not more music. No. No more copyright music. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Yeah, of course they are. Samuel's feeding them. Oh, it's you. Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Because you're not Victoria. Let's not fight. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment. So talk. Okay, Kate's video. Kate is really upset about- I don't think I've actually seen Taylor alone without Team Victoria. I think we can ask her about her pants. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? Yep, about your mom. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. So like you are for Kate. Friend of Victoria. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Okay. So we made a new friend, I think. That's cool. Well, let's paint there. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Actually, that paint job right there looks horrible. Look at that. <laughs> That's terrible. How is that a good paint job? It's even got graffiti on it. So it's 1300. Let's talk to Sam. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. Hello. Morning. It's a video. All this gossip is cruel. Boo hoo. That's what happens when you Don't preach to everybody about sex. She'll live. Jerk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the I best friends you have. I do know her. And I can already tell she's a jerk. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. So her parents are sick. Taylor, conversation over. Wow, douchebag. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Life is Strange. Again, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, this is, yeah, I gotta erase that again. Great. This is part three of episode two, guys. And yeah, hopefully you guys have caught up with this so far, and we will hopefully get to episode three rather soonish. I'm trying to kind of speed through these and haven't really gotten very far into episode 2 yet, but uh, episode 3 is out, so I gotta catch up to that. I haven't really had a whole lot of time to play this game, so that's why there wasn't very many videos on it for a while. 